Okay, she's challenging us. Joey said, go on, jump on the one of these walls. So here we go, Joey. Um, so walk me through this. I've got a couple of grips, my feet are in certain positions. Before I want to move myself up, am I, what am I looking for? Well, from where you are, you're going to look for a place to bring your feet up to because your body's extended as far as it can go with your right hand. So I want you to bring your feet up a little. So you can step on that pink hold in the middle. Yeah, and then use your body. Yeah, use your legs to push yourself up. Okay. And now you're going to reach up. Yeah, you can maybe grab that blue one. It's not going to be a super awesome hold, so we're going to move through it fairly quickly by bringing our feet up. So even that little orange one between your knees. Good. See, and that's, then, a, that's one thing I've realized, too, is that I've got to look around me and decide where my feet go. Is, is that pretty much the, the, the idea? Where yeah. do your feet go first and then your hands will follow? You bet. You're absolutely right. You want the motion to come from your lower body. You'll tire out too quickly if you're just pulling, pulling, pulling. So you can see where you want to go with your hands. So, Probably up there. Yeah, to that one, the blue one. So bring your feet up a little bit higher and push through. Good. So we've got you on a route here, Phoenix. That's pretty good. We've got lots of big, what we call jugs. Okay. So you can feel there's lots of big in-cut holds to grab where you're feeling pretty secure on them, like that purple one. Right. And you can lean back and relax. So a good idea when you're climbing, too, is to take those natural rests where you find them. So how you're hanging off a straight arm there, shake that lower hand out a little bit. Okay. And then you can switch hands and then shake your other hand out on that same hold. Now, my flexibility is okay, but in reality, I mean, you're trying to get as far off to one side as the other, or does it really... Well, you're going to try and stay underneath your anchor. So we don't want to move too much to the side, but we can use those holds as we need them while you're moving up. Right. The biggest thing for flexibility in the beginning when you're climbing is how high you can step with your feet, right? Okay. There you go. Nice. And you're naturally turning your feet in using the inside edge and the outside edge, so that's really nice That's to a good see. thing, too. So don't always attack it forward. Yeah, we don't want to attack it forward because it's easier to slip off the hold. There you go. Nice reach there. That's kind of like a back step there where you're reaching with the side and tucking your knee down. Now, what I, see, I'm, I see this one here, but I want to change my feet. Would I... Well, you could do a foot, a foot switch. So you can do a little bit of a hop switch if you want to hop on the one there. Yeah. Close. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm doing this right. Okay. I, We're going to keep climbing, but this gives you sort of an idea of what to do. By the way, if I, just so you know it's safe, if I release the wall, do you have me? I have you. You can let go at any time. I'm going to release the wall here. Here we go. This is actually a lot of fun. Joey, this has been a lot of fun. Thank you. You're very welcome. Um, Crux climbing and bouldering. We're going to keep attacking this wall. More Go Calgary coming up on Shaw TV. Okay, I just grabbed a jug. <laughs> <laughs>